This is Marvel. She's our one-year-old Pembroke Welsh Corgi. We go on a sojourn at least once a day, sometimes twice because she has a lot of energy, and I need the exercise. We don't use the word W-A-L-K. It's a trigger word, and if we say it, we better follow through. We were on a sojourn recently and bumped into some neighbors who are apparently Corgi fans. And by bumped into, I mean they were driving down the street, pulled over, and got out of their car to pet my dog. That was a first. The nice lady, whose name I don't know, said, You're very brave for taking on a corgi puppy. I replied, I know. Now. When I was a kid, my dad's best friend bought my sister a black lab. He claimed to be surprised. And to this day, dad won't admit to any sort of conspiracy. He did pay it forward, though, and adopted a black lab, something, for my 10-year-old son as a gift. So, yeah, I've only ever had black labs. Her name was Haley, and she was a great dog. She passed away several years ago, and my daughter, Joanne, wanted a new one right away. My wife and I, we weren't ready. When Jo moved out to live on her own, it wasn't a surprise that the first thing she did was to get a puppy. But she didn't get a lab. She got a corgi. I didn't know much about the breed, but I do love other people's puppies. They're like other people's kids, fun to play with until they complain or smell funny, and then you can just give them back. It's a little harder to give them back when they live with you. I was a bit concerned that it wasn't the best time for Joe to get a new fur baby. She was in school, had a job, and living on her own for the first time. My wife was like, she'll be fine. Raising a puppy will be a good experience for her. Right. So, Angie and I were raising my daughter's puppy. We took turns working from home on days Joanne had class. It was, sorta, nice to have Gidget around for a half day here and there. And, to be honest, my daughter did most of the heavy lifting. She did a great job. Last summer, my lovely and patient wife shared a link to an older lab up for adoption. Unfortunately, this one wasn't good with strangers or other animals, and we had to think of Gidget. I did, however, take this as a sign that she was dying for a new puppy. She may disagree. It wasn't hard to decide on a corgi. We enjoy spending time with Gidget. She's both sassy and a sweetheart. Also, I thought it would be fun to surprise Joanne with a second corgi in the family. So, my goal was to find a puppy that was a little bit of a cuddler and still had plenty of energy. Looking back, I may have miscalculated. I brought Marvel home when she was eight weeks old. We soon realized that we may have ended up with the Alpha. Marvel wasn't just smart, she was a furry terrorist. Marvel ate everything. She must have hated the wallpaper, and apparently the old carpeting was delicious. We had to keep her kenneled at night, but that didn't always work out. I almost pissed myself the night she dragged a bag of toys into the kennel. She would bark at any car that drove down the street and chase after the ones that she thought she could catch. Uh, and we're still working on that one. She was ready to throw down with any dog. It didn't matter the size. That's her deal. <laughs> Jackson is so chill. Yeah. He's like, stop it. <laughs> Where's that? But despite trying to eat my house and us, because puppies, it was hard to stay angry for long. When she cries, she sounds like a Wookiee, and it's heart-wrenching. And I love how curious she is. Gidget has never been a fan of water. Marvel will play in it, 
stand outside in a thunderstorm, and dive right into the mud. We figured out that keeping her busy is best for everyone. And despite being a Tasmanian devil at home, she is the complete opposite when we leave. We spent a lot of time acclimating her to as many people and dogs as possible. She's amazing with kids. She actually has a fan club of eight-year-old girls. They call her Marvel. They take turns hugging her while she showers them with kisses. Marvel also loves playing with other dogs. Though sometimes she thinks she's a pro wrestler. She's even become a little bit affectionate at times, uh, on her terms, of course. Sometimes a little too affectionate. But even after a year, she's still got plenty of puppy in her. Marvel is ornery and loves to steal socks. She's got a real thing for towels. You don't want to dust with a towel when she's around because there's a good chance she'll steal it, or at least try. Oh, and if we ever invite you over, don't wear sandals. She's got a little toe fetish going on and will lick them to a fine polish. I love how she makes people smile. She makes me smile every day. Splooting, booping, smiling, and zoomies are fun. Open it. Let's see. And best of all, when I'm up late working on my next book, I now have a writing buddy. It's been a challenging year, but totally worth the effort. If you're looking for a new puppy, consider getting a corgi. But my neighbor was right. You have to be a little brave. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to stop by godhanks.com for more content and to check out my books.